We are finally attempting to reach the most northern point of Australia. The Cape York Peninsula is one of Australia's largest unspoiled wilderness areas and is pretty notorious for being a car killer, which if we're being totally honest, kind of frightens us. But considering this is our third visit to tropical North Queensland, it's now or never. So over the next few days, we are taking on the dusty 1600 kilometer trip to the tip and back. How hard could it be? This isn't going well. That's the weirdest thing I've seen. Can we go? It's scaring me. All of my travels in Australia. <laughs> that was harder than I thought it was going to be. chairs this morning no first day first morning in our new little setup but also first morning camping at all in a very long time yes so I think it's gonna take us a while to get used to everything again Megan's so chilled out she'll just pull up anywhere in the middle of nowhere and just camp but I my anxiety levels go through the roof so last night so a little panic attack wasn't yeah I? he was like Megan I can't stay here I can't do it I'm like Jack you're fine just <laughs> What are you afraid of? <laughs> and he wouldn't even tell me what he was afraid of. I'm so scared. Do you want to tell me now? <laughs> I'm scared of someone coming and murdering us. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we did actually pass a very creepy looking ute mm. on the way in with their headlights off that gave us a few that's creek what, vibes. That's so. what set it off for me. I was like, that guy's driving in the dark with his lights off. He <laughs> <laughs> looked creepy. So I was like, is this a safe area to camp? But I mean, ended up having the best sleep. Yeah. We're in Cooktown, by the way. We're making our way to Cape York. Yeah. So let's get the day started. This is why I wanted to camp here. We were sleeping right just there. Whoa, that's stunning. So the thing you have to be careful of around here is crocodiles. So I read heaps of reviews that there shouldn't be any crocodiles here and it's safe to swim. <laughs> Best way to start the day. I also think I need to be taking every opportunity to get a shower in as I can over the next week as well with this new setup. So, shower done. We did our first four hour journey in the Hilux yesterday and it was very comfortable. Big, what are you looking at? Huh? Oh, we got some motorbike riders. Oh no, I'm naked. Oh no. Anyway, the point I was trying to make was the Hilux is incredibly smooth. It is a big difference from the Troopy. I don't know, was it less vibrations? That's what it yeah, was. Yeah, definitely. We're and we've read that that's actually what makes you tired while driving. Yes. It's noise and vibrations, which the Troopy had a lot of and this doesn't have quite as much. So I'm pretty happy with it. But anyway, we got another four hour drive today, I think. So let's not bash the Troopy. Sorry. We love the Troopy. Yeah. If you can get a Troopy, guys, get a Troopy. It'll be the best thing you ever did. On the <laughs> other note. Yeah, hard not to compare though. <laughs> yeah, Hilux is a little bit nicer to drive. Even more anticlimactic than we thought. 
not because we're back on bitumen again. I read a point on Wikicams that said it was the end of bitumen. So it's just trying to make things more exciting in here, but uh forgot to show you my new sunnies as well, guys. What do you reckon? I actually think they suit you, which I don't know what that says about you if you look like a you know what what we call it. Speed deal. I don't think we're allowed to say that on YouTube. <laughs> So we've decided to keep driving today because one, it's very, very hot here at Cape York this time of the year. So we stopped off at a campsite, we got out, we're like, nope, we're not spending the rest of the day here. So we continue driving for a couple more hours now and we've just pulled in to our next campsite and we have not seen anybody. Yeah, it's been very quiet. It's been it's been a bit weird. <laughs> All we've seen is trucks going past, so it's a bit eerie, isn't it? A little bit. I think a lot of the campsites are just going to be just us. It's like no one around, which is good, I guess. Yeah. When you wake up in the morning, it's the best feeling ever when no one's around. All right, this is it. Home sweet home for the night. I think I'm falling in love with the car. <laughs> I told you not to get too attached. Although that being said, we do still need a name for it. I feel like we yeah, are severely comment. lacking in naming our cars. Yes. I don't maybe, know, what does he feel like? Maybe like Herbert. I was thinking a H name as well, like Horace or... Old Herbert. What else was I thinking? What a name, that'd be a good name for a kid, eh? Herbert. Herbs, come here. <laughs> anyway, uh, time for some food. We are starving, we've eaten one banana today. Oh my gosh, we have! We had one coffee and one banana. Wow, I'm we've done we have well not other. killing each other today. Good job. It must be because it's so smooth in the car. <laughs> the car is so smooth. We haven't actually cooked properly with this setup yet either. I don't even know how the barbecue works. So if you're new here cooked and up. you cooked up, if you're new here and you didn't watch last week's video, you'll know we just bought this car, literally did it up in two days, and we're doing Cape York. So. I haven't checked the barbecue, haven't even turned it on. Pretty sure we've got gas, didn't even check that. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. We've got these. Did you forget about that? It's like, not even a big deal, but it's just so cool. <laughs> so, the old gas, mate. This is actually not a bad barbecue. I didn't know they did this, look at this, ready? Cook top. Cook top, cook top, cook top, cook top. Okay, so, look at this. I didn't know they made cooktops like this. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? I reset it so that <laughs> I didn't get shit in the comments for it. I make so many mistakes when they're filming that it's just so normal for me to re-say something again. <laughs> it, that's a bit weird when you think about it. It is. Like, it's just normal to Imagine say. Imagine that in, like, a normal social situation if you just, like, started. Saying, so, so this barbecue, so this cooktop, so this cooktop, it, it's a bit weird when you think about it. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Oi! Oh, it's hell good. Oh, it's really good. Nice. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Oh, Megan. Yeah? It's a little toaster thriller. How does that So you work? put your toast on there and you push it under. For real? Oh, look. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing ever. Is that on? Is that working? Oh yeah, that, that's a little griller. <gasps> we can do our asparagus on the bottom there. Sick. Oh yes. This is a good stove top. This is by far the laziest dinner we have ever done. Don't judge us. We've got instant scrambled eggs. Who knows how that's going to taste. And um, we've got mushrooms that were already cut which I never do, but Jack insisted that we didn't have enough fridge space. Because for. I knew that a day like this would happen. True, true. But that's why we've got these. I don't want to spend the night in the tent with you after them, but... <laughs> I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see. This is our first time setting up any of this because we got to camp pretty late last night. So 
haven't sat on these chairs yet. Comfy. From Bunnings? Yeah. We couldn't get our really pretty ones that we got last time from Bunnings. Um, they were quite cheap. They didn't sell them anymore, so. These are still kind of pretty, I guess. Bonne Matit. How do you say it? <laughs> <laughs> Bonne. How do you say it? Bon up the teeth. Bon up. Bon up the teeth. Did you think I was being serious? I know you're not being serious, Megan. Bonne Bonne. How do you say it? Bon appetit. Hakuna mm -hmm. Matata. It's been like a long time since we've had this feeling. Like just us and nature. Mm -hmm. Can't hear anything. Look at you, ready for bed. Ready with for your school, school bag. <laughs> <laughs> you go to school. Come have a look at our bedroom. You haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So we've got our little mat where we leave our little shoes. Baby wipe our feet as well before that. <laughs> that backpack looks massive on the back of it. <laughs> I know, I've got my weight distribution really wrong right now as well. <laughs> this is it. We've gone for a bit of luxury. The double pillows. And they fit up here along with all of our bedding and pajamas and... It's pretty it's comfy. It's actually pretty comfy. We slept very well last night. All right, I'm coming in. This feels like um, I'm young again. Yeah, like a cubby house. I feel like I'm really young again and I've got a little or head. A tree house. Tree house. Yeah. Hello from the future. Little sneak peek into what is happening next episode if you recognize this area. But while I'm here, I just want to say a big thank you to BetterHelp for their continued support of the channel and for sponsoring today's video. So consider this your weekly reminder to nurture your mental health just as you would your physical health. If you've been following along on the vlog the last few weeks, you will know that Jack and I have been really thinking about the tools that we have to do exactly that. So today I'm taking a moment to myself out in nature, but taking time to speak to a professional is an incredible tool as well. With BetterHelp, you can be connected to a licensed professional who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. There are over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than may be available in your area. To get started, all you need to do is fill out a quick questionnaire, and in most cases, BetterHelp will match you with your therapist within 48 hours. BetterHelp really works for Jack and I, obviously because we travel a lot, but also, I hope Jack doesn't mind me saying this, but we both can really find face-to-face -face therapy a little bit uncomfortable. But with BetterHelp, you can have your sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even text messaging, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. And if the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like quite the right fit, you can easily change your therapist at no extra cost. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, definitely consider BetterHelp. You can click the link in our description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Jack and Megan. Clicking that link not only helps to support our channel, but it will also get you 10% off your first month of therapy with better help good morning back on the road earlier than expected we thought we were gonna do a nice chill morning at camp and eat our breakfast and drink our coffee slowly but we got attacked by midges as soon as we got out of the tent. Swarms of them. Well, not even we, it was just me. Yeah, they just bite swarm. me, I don't know why. Apparently it's something in your blood really? that attracts them. I don't know. Pretty much all we've been doing today is driving about three and a half hours now. Yeah, and since we don't have reception as well, we got really worried we were going the wrong way. So thank God for the old paper maps, feeling like real travellers today with yes. that one but I think we're almost at our destination because the roads have been really good. No corrugations. There's Quite been like a, a few, bit, but yeah. But it was not just not what we were expecting. expecting. Yeah. Did we just become <laughs> best friends? <laughs> So we've just arrived at Fruitback Falls, which I think is one of the most popular attractions on the whole Cape. And we might have it to ourselves. Oh, what? Oh. I thought that was the whole point of coming here. 
I don't know. There's bank swim. But I mean, I've seen thousands of people swim here. Yeah, that's why I was excited to visit. Now I'm scared. Look at it guys, Amazing. we made it. It's so clear and we do have the whole place to ourselves. There is not a soul in sight. Which is usually like amazing for us, but now I'm still too scared to swim. If there were other people in there, I'd be like, eh. But no, there must not be a crocodile. No. You see hundreds of people swimming here. Just go in your little corner there. But it's just so inviting, you just want to like. The water is so clear guys, it's incredible. It's just come out of nowhere the red dusty roads that we were just on for like three hours yeah. and now this. Paradise. Some people ended up coming guys so we're going to leave them to it so they can have it all to themselves because that was a very nice moment, wasn't it? Yeah, everyone deserves to see that. Oh, By mate. themselves, that was amazing. What is happening? Whoa, look at that. Wait, I shouldn't put my window down. No. Oh, that's cranking. Oh my gosh, you can actually hear the flames crackling. I've never near a fire like that. Holy moly. Oh, it stinks, eh? Phew, it was so dusty out there. Got some chips. Oh my God, nine bucks for a pack of Doritos. Why did you buy that? <laughs> I didn't realize. Holy moly. So 121 for a car to cross the Jardine River. And then nine bucks for some Doritos. That's return though, right? Return, yes. And includes all your uh, camping permits, I think. So yeah, let's go across the river. We need our million dollar Doritos. It's like a dollar per Dorito. If I see you eating them- I'm gonna a, eat them. With a smile on your face. Here we go. I don't know what's so exciting yeah. about crossing a, a river on a ferry, but it's exciting. Anytime we go on a ferry with our car, it leads to something cool. Thanks, mate. Have a good day. Ooh. And we're over. So what we've just done, if I didn't explain, is we crossed the Jardine River, which is the only way to get across to get to the tip of Cape York. So we're almost there. Guys, I've had to reverse back to confirm what I just saw. Are you kidding me? It says Happy Halloween. Penny was he here, 2023. The real pig mask. Oh my god. That's creepy. That's the weirdest thing I've seen. Can we go? It's scaring me. All of my travels from Australia. <laughs> what? Who would do such a thing? Penny. They've killed a pig and they've put it on a side. That's some Wolf Creek shit right there. We're going to the tip and we're <laughs> straight out of here. <laughs> That's weird stuff, man. We've made it. Look at this. It's like we're on our own private island with palm trees and the most beautiful blue water I've ever seen. That Look at that. Is so cool. I wasn't expecting that. No. Look at all the stop islands. <laughs> we're gonna stop saying we weren't expecting I it. I feel like it's because all you ever really hear about Cave York is the four wheel driving. Yeah. And I mean, I always knew that it was beautiful, but I don't think it gets enough recognition as to just how beautiful it is. No. That's amazing. Look how far back the tide's gone as well. So apparently you can walk to the tip if the tide's down. How do we know where we're going? Well, I, are I, they islands? Because it doesn't no, look like we're at the northernmost point right now. <laughs> we didn't bring our phones. Did you bring your phone? No. We should go back and grab <laughs> our phone to see if we're walking the right way. I see it! I see <laughs> I see the famous sign. There it is, maybe. Can you see it? Down oh there. there, I see it. Do you see the sign? Yeah. Alright, let's go touch the sign and officially be at the most northern point of Australia. We should touch it together. Okay. <laughs> we had to do a rock scramble for about half an hour because the tide was um, too high, but here we go. I'm ready, we'll touch at the same time. Don't touch, don't touch. 
Ready? Bye, Chip. We'll see you never again. I don't think so. Probably won't see that again. That'll be it. Yep. I feel like this view is maybe a little bit prettier though. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. It's like postcard. Yeah. And the water's all sparkly. That guy there is living the dream. Yeah. He knows what's... Oh, no, that's a rock. Sorry. <laughs> the, guy, the guy in the boat. That He knows what's going on. Although I feel like 100% of the dream would be water you can swim in from yeah. your boat. So maybe like... <laughs> 95% of the dream. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, look, Tokyo, 5,160 kilometers away. That's nothing. We'll swim there, eh? Yeah. Oh, we'll ask that bloke for a ride. <laughs> what else we got? Yeah. Where's Perth? There. How far is Perth? 3,620 kilometers we're doing over really? the next week and a half, oh two weeks. <laughs> oh, God. What have we got ourselves into? Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say as well in regards to driving to Perth, if you missed last video. Maybe you don't know, but that's what's happening. So that is why our trip up to the Cape is quite quick. quick. <laughs> but it is also a lot faster than we're expecting because it's hot, so it's a lot nicer to Sit spend the, the day in the aircon. And also the drives have just been really, really nice. They've been amazing, like we said before, graded roads the whole way up. So. And also the rainforest as we were coming in here was just beautiful. Yep. This is new. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a man. We don't have anything to cut it with. Oh. You okay? A little teeny tiny tree. <laughs> I was Didn't just me. saying what a manly man you are. <laughs> it's the smallest tree in the world, Megan. <laughs> oh, it's full of like fire ants. Here we go, we've done it. Oh, it's the most intense four wheel driving we've done in eight. Oh, we actually did just scratch the car. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, this is a 10 out of 10. Wow. Are you, did I do good or what? Are you kidding me? I can't believe there's no one here. Look, no, no one. one. We have this entire beach to ourselves and it's Honestly, one of the most beautiful beaches. There's no wind either. It's yeah, just... that's probably why I like it so much. Far out. We've got our own little personal swings as well. And coconuts. So you know how we said yesterday that we did so well. Oh yeah, be careful, there's um, bitey oh, ants. There is there. too. <laughs> um, yeah, yesterday we were doing so well with not killing each other on minimal food. Today, we haven't been as good. So we're gonna get onto some dinner. No comment. We're hangry. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Dusty. Whoa. Look how bad it is. Yeah, she's dusty, mate. She's nice and sealed up. Whoa, that's bad. That was a mistake. This is going to be a whole pull-out job to get it back to clean. Holy moly. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, straight off the plane into the, into the high house, mate. <laughs> In our new dog bowls from Kmart. <laughs> we forgot to tell you guys when we were shopping at Kmart the other day, it was cheaper to get dog bowls than it was to get uh, metal camping bowls. So we knew you guys would have a laugh as well. <laughs> I think they're actually cuter as well. Anyway, I set up our chairs right in front of the ocean, so we've got the best view we've got ever. The best view for in dinner. Australia tonight. And we'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning everyone, had an amazing sleep last night. We had a bit of an eventful night actually. When we were packing up uh, after we ate dinner, we ended up seeing like a five meter croc pop its head out. Who knows how long it was there for. It was huge, eh? Did you have a measuring tape? Yeah, I had a, measure, <laughs> had a measuring tape. But it was, it just... No, yeah. I didn't see it. I just saw it as it was going down. But Jack said he locked eyes with it. And it was the creepiest thing ever. And I was like, crocodile! And then straight away it just went, Fumble. and it was gone and we didn't see it again. I tried to look for it all night, but I couldn't see it. We've never seen one in the ocean no, before. No, not like that. It was like right there yeah. and who knows how long it was looking at us sneaky eh? crazy don't you want to talk behind the camera because i'm like okay go hello this is our home so we're going to give you a bit of a <laughs> i was standing here like this <laughs> <laughs> i was like ready for the tour <laughs> okay are you ready for the tour <laughs> is this all going in the video maybe <laughs> All right. I guess well, I'm the boss of that, aren't I? We're going to give you a bit of a tour of the car, guys. Yeah, so we showed you the car as we bought it last episode, but we didn't get to show you everything packed. And, no. you know, that's my favourite part. So, come have a look at our home. So, this is our kitchen. <laughs> and then we've got these little table things. They're as, coming in handy, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, as you would have seen last video, we decided to keep the other, like, regular table because Jack said that... We would use this for cooking and use the other table for sitting down and playing cards. We haven't no. sat down and played cards. We didn't even buy cards, so maybe that table is going to go because these are great. What else we got? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to have. <laughs> I thought bit... you were going to defend your decision to keep. <laughs> no, the table. we can get rid of the table. A bit rusty on the old tour skills there. Classic. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, so yeah, this is the kitchen, and then this fridge slides out as well. Yep. And then this is where we're keeping all of our junk. Our little 12 volt. No, that's our that's, fan. Yeah. <laughs> that we haven't <laughs> used yet. Because it's a, in a paper. Um, <laughs> we haven't actually used that yet. So yeah, fan, water. You've hidden stuff to make this look neater because our suitcase <laughs> usually lives here as well. Hey, it's all about <laughs> the just exposing uh, everything today. presentation. Pool noodle, which is going to get some use today. We got actually one 20 litre jug there and one 20 litre inside there as well. So we got 40 litres of water. Yeah. So and then we our got our little concoction. Kitchen. So this is Jack's side. So he has got... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. I think it would just be easy to pull it off. Okay. Oh, oh. yep, there you, there you go. So we've got a big backpack down here, one of the suitcases, towels, and then we're still getting use out of these packing cubes that we did have in our mm. suitcases. We've also been using an electric kettle instead of a gas one, just because we're lazy in the morning before we get our coffee, and it's a lot easier to plug that in than it is to pull out the cooktop, hook up the gas, well, not there, so times are changing. I'll show you on the other side how we're able to do that. Also, I went and got a drill kit with some tools just in case. <laughs> just in case we need to drill a hole, you know? Yeah, well, <laughs> as we were going for a walk this morning, we saw in all the coconuts there are drill holes. So I was like, oh my gosh, we can still have coconuts, even though we don't have the machete that we had last time <laughs> that Jack nearly hacked his hand off with. I just made an excuse to go buy a toolkit, guys, but anyway, <laughs> Megan doesn't know that. Well, she knows now. If it means I can get coconut water, then fine. Buy all the drills you want. That's been coming in handy a lot. Not too sure about the weight of the water in the pipe on the roof, but it's been pretty good. Yeah, it's good. We've actually been using that every day. All of this was in the last video, and we've got max tracks on yeah, we do. the roof there, which I don't think we mentioned last video. And then over this side is da -da -da -da. another shelf. So this is our toiletry shelf and then my packing cubes and also I had forgotten that these packing cubes, the reason I bought them in the first place is because they expand. So when we were traveling with just our suitcases, they were like this, so they'd fit in the suitcase. Yeah. And now they're all puffed up. So awesome, mate. I don't know why that sort of stuff just makes me so happy. Toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> Best views ever. <laughs> I even sent some Snapchats to my mates. <laughs> it won't make it to YouTube, guys. But anyway, back to the tour. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how we have been powering ourselves. We have got the EcoFlow Delta 2. And as you would know, if you've been with us for a while, we were running an EcoFlow Delta 1. Yeah, that? the first version. In the Treepy. And 
amazing. Never had any issues with power whatsoever. And we need a little bit of extra juice because we're running our laptops and all that sort of thing. So never let us down. If you want to know the technical stuff, I'll pass you over to the technical person. <laughs> <laughs> if you are looking at getting an EcoFlow and you can't be bothered setting up a 12 volt system in your car, this is what you should go and get. So it's got four 240 volt plugs at the back four USBs at the front, two USB-Cs as well, and it's got an inbuilt 1800 watt inverter and an inbuilt 1000 watt battery. So it's doing the job and we've got a 220 watt solar panel to go with it, which we haven't actually used yet because we haven't really needed to, yeah, have we? Yeah, we've been able to charge it while yeah. we're driving. We've been running the kettle every morning. Uh, we've been running the laptops every night and it's been- Charging camera batteries. Charging camera batteries. We know it's good now because we ran it for four months almost. Yeah. So that's why and we went and got one straight away. In the heat up here and we're in the heat of Northwest, wet Northwest <laughs> WA. Yeah. Just North WA. <laughs> and it was hot. We do have a little 12 volt system that came with the car here that's running just the fridge. And it, to be honest, it's just going flat overnight. So <laughs> it's not really running the fridge well, but the EcoFlow could run it, but I just haven't been bothered to plug it all in yet. We also have a compressor down there as well that I can't be bothered pulling out. But that's pretty <laughs> much it for our little house. We kept it pretty simple. Yeah, it's been great the last few days. I am loving it, but huge respect for the people that are able to live out of something like this for weeks or months and that sort of thing. I've been loving it because I can just get changed here and not worry, but if there's people around or if it was like raining or cold, I'd be probably a bit miserable by now. Yeah, it's hard. So, yeah. Props to you guys. <laughs> Megan's gone down to get a nice little story for Instagram. And now she's yelling out for help because she couldn't get out of the tire. <laughs> Classic. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> you got stuck in the tire. This is not meant for people with <laughs> adult legs. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. All right. I was just saying we're off, eh? Yeah. Do you have that feeling with this car because it's so new to us that it's going to start? Do you get that anxiety? No. Oh, I get it. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, beautiful beach. That, might... that was up there, hey? That was up there. So many people told us to come to Cape York so many times. We finally did it. And it was totally worth it. One more stop, though. Yeah, we've got one more waterfall. Actually, two. Two? Yeah. Is there? They're like together, I think. Oh, this car's going so well, eh? I'm so happy with it. it. Just starts perfectly. Sounds good. Megan's not a car person, guys. But you car people will understand. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Goodbye, paradise. Look at the water as the sun comes up. Any crocodiles? I always say the best beaches have the deadliest things in them. Mm. You want to go in so yeah, bad. Yeah, it's just so inviting, but you, you just can't. You just want to pop your foot in, but definitely shouldn't. We did in room with rock pools. I reckon we would probably not come back here for a good five, ten years. Yeah, I reckon. But I will say I will be back here in my life. Mm -hmm. I would love to bring my old man here. Hey, that'd be, he would just love it. We just stopped to wait for the car ferry thing and we just heard this shh. Well, you got a flat tire. I guess we didn't make it out without a scratch. No. Oh, I really can't be bothered. <laughs> I'll change it. Listen. Oh, we must be on top of the hole right now, but it's, it'll be good if it's not on the side of the tire. It'll be better if it's on the top because then we can just chuck a puncture repair oh, kit. Oh, yeah, true. Because I got that. Never leave on an adventure without a puncture repair kit. So let's hope it's on the top and not the side. Definitely going flat. See right now it's not making any noise because I must be on top of the hole but you can tell that's going flat. Damn it. I'll roll back and tell me when we'll both hear it. There. <laughs> that was pretty obvious. Where's it coming from? <laughs> back Please here where the so. dust is. Oh, it's on the side wall. Oh no. No, it's like right there. Damn it. Right. We're gonna have to change the tire. Spewing. This isn't 
going well. Hand wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. Look at my face. I've been wiping my face. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that was harder than I thought it was going to be. Because the alloy wheels on the car, they have lock nuts on them. And we couldn't find the original nuts. I should have checked that when we before we left. So it, I had to put the lock nuts back on a steel rim, which I wasn't too keen on. But it seems to have worked. We'll take it easy all the way home now. Mm -hmm. So we can get to a car yard. Oh, uh, bloody tire shop. Far out. That red dust gets you, eh? Oh, you get to go have a shower now. How? Yeah. Waterfall. Oh, classic, yes. So we've arrived at the next set of waterfalls. But I think the track in is technically part of the old telegraph track, which is that four wheel driving we've been trying to bypass this whole time and now that we've blown a tire i think i'm gonna call it we're being a bit timid today we're about five four or five k's off from the falls but it's like the end of the season and this is so rutted it may not look like it on camera but there's a big drop there and a big drop here there's no problem coming down it it's coming back up it i don't <laughs> want to thrash the car and pop a tire and all that kind of stuff so i don't think the car can make it back up without like a winch up or something because if i'm totally honest i don't know if the winch works we didn't plan on doing this kind of stuff so have a look at that that whoa i'm slipping i think i'm going to call it we're not going to come down i think it's the safest thing to do if we were with a bunch of people i'd come straight down but because we're by ourselves i don't want to risk it that's Some people might think enough. we're a wussy, but I'd rather make it back than not make it back. <laughs> yeah. And get stuck. Look at that. And look, we still get a little waterfall. So if you come out <laughs> here, yeah. <laughs> I'll get a little shower. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so fresh. Oh, it's not that fresh. <laughs> it's all algae in there. That's the chicken track that we're trying to do. And this is the non-chicken track. Look at that. People come through here. We can't even do the chicken track. We can't even do it. We could probably do it. And then people drive down there. And then come out there. It's called Scrubby's... Scrubby's? What was it again? Scrubby Creek. Scrubby Creek. Pretty cool. We'll have to come back one day with a bunch Yeah, of there you go. Now we have a reason to yeah, come back to sooner. <laughs> Alright. You I'm ready? Ca I'm for... calling it. I'm not going to go down. So you ready for a five hour drive then? So moral of the story today, if you get a chance to visit three waterfalls all in a row, like we had yesterday, do it all together before you blow a tire and then you won't be too scared to go <laughs> on the track. We've decided to just keep driving as far as we can and just pull over on the side of the road when I feel tired. I got lots of energy, so I'm just gonna keep going. If and you're wondering what we've been doing on the long drives, by the way, I got back my Spotify premium when we got back in Australia and I didn't realize this but you can download audiobooks onto yeah. Spotify premium you guys know if you've been watching the vlog for a while we listen to the mindset mentor on the podcast app all the time and Rob Dial from that podcast has just written a book he and changed my life mate like narrating the whole audiobook on Spotify so I downloaded that for offline and like a lot of it because we've listened to like every single podcast we sort of know the gist of it but it's really really well written book so if you get a chance to download that one have a look because it's been really good yeah, we're not good. finished yet though um what was i going to say also we'll get rid of this shelf guys i promise you we should have done it before this trip but i didn't so i'm definitely getting rid of that it is a hazard you, yeah you and we haven't right. even used it for like storage Sorry. or anything he's just saying that because we just got reception and he saw <laughs> your comments but we did comments. we knew we said it as soon as we saw it we're like that's a hazard but, saw some yeah. comments on youtube yeah. <laughs> classic so that's going we made it to the cave guys uh thank you all for coming along yeah it's definitely made us want to come back again and explore more oh, don't know what will happen yeah. but yeah because there's like the east and the west side of the peninsula that they can go to unfortunately we just don't have the time to go do all of that that's all right we uh we've got a six thousand kilometer journey in front of us yeah so. we looked that up because uh when we were looking at that sundial thing that was 
like one directly to directly across. It's yes. like three and a half thousand. But it's actually kilometers. six thousand but one. Forgot, we have to go like this. So. so stay tuned we've got a few more episodes coming out with that and uh yeah we just want to say thank you all for watching and following along especially if you made it to the end here don't forget to take care of yourselves you guys all told us to take care of ourselves we did and we feel so much better now so thank you all and uh, enjoy the rest of your day